Sometimes Gideon was afraid he would die in his office. Could a person really die of boredom? If so, today was certainly the day. Even his law clerk appeared to be in danger of nodding off, lulled by the sonorous drone of Mr. Ernest Pike's reedy voice. How long had they been listening to Pike's tedious account of his life, a life that had culminated in his phenomenal success in the production of packing crates? An eternity, at least. So you can understand, Mr. Bates, how important it is to make sure my estate is safeguarded for my daughter, Eugenia, Pike said. She is my only heir. At last, the man had finally made his wishes known. Gideon straightened up in his chair and smiled across his desk at Mr. Ernest Pike. We can certainly make sure of that, Mr. Pike. How old is your daughter, may I ask? His clerk perked up, too, finally sensing something he could make notes about. She'll be twenty-two next Tuesday. She's a lovely girl, and so accomplished, she plays the piano and sings. Everyone remarks on how musical she is. 